so the lighting in here is wild. And I am a mess because I'm prepping my mother-in-law's food for the week, but I wanted to show you this tahini dressing so that you too can have tahini dressing. So I just have like a medium-sized bowl. I'm gonna do like maybe three tablespoons yeah, of soy sauce. I'm using dark soy sauce because it's what I have, but use whatever you've got. Um, this is about a tablespoon of rice wine vinegar. I just use the cap. Not a super, like, accurate measurer. This is pureed ginger. I'm gonna do about a tablespoon of that. And then we're gonna do like three tablespoons of sesame oil. We're gonna do the same with olive oil. Usually three gloves around the bowl is about a tablespoon each glove. And you really can't go wrong, like unless you add way too much soy sauce or too much sweetener, you're not gonna have an issue. Speaking of sweetener, I'm using monk fruit because she is diabetic. This is about a teaspoon and a half. You could use agave, you could use maple syrup, you can use plain sugar, you could use brown sugar would be delicious. I'm just, I've got a specific dietary concern here, so um, that's what I'm using. This is the tahini that I'm using and I do not recommend it. I'm using it up, thank God it's almost gone. Um, I think this is the worst tahini on the market. Uh, and I always forget that. And then I see it at Grocery Outlet on sale and I'm like, hey, that's a really good deal. We're gonna do about three tablespoons of tahini, um, which is about exactly what I have in here. Um, and then I end up buying it and I remember how bitter it is and that I absolutely freaking hate it. Um, but it's gone now. Good riddance. Uh, hold please. Let me get a fork. Okay. I also got some water. We're just going to drizzle a little water in there to get it started because that tahini is going to need some help getting moving. And then we're just going to whisk or use a fork till it's all combined. Hold please. Okay. At this point, it's going to look something like this and you're going to want to give it a little taste. Depending on the type of tahini you use, it may be a little bitter and you may need to add some more sweetener. This is actually spot on. You could also add a little garlic powder to this. Typically I do, but I forgot. And I'm going to skip that because I'm actually adding some um, broccoli that I made the other day that has garlic in it. So that'll take care of that. But when I type out the recipe, I'll add the garlic. Um, you can use fresh garlic, garlic powder, whatever you want. And then from here... We're gonna take whatever noodles we're using. You could use angel hair, you could use soba, you could use ramen noodles from a packet, you could use whatever you want. I'm using buckwheat soba. I got this from SF Supermarket in Fresno. Um, love that store. Set that aside for the pasta that's cooking. I'm gonna to toss our noodles. This is two bundles of noodles, but I need a little extra sauce because like I said, I'm going to be adding a bunch of veggies. Hold on. There's peanut butter on that spoon. I had to eat it. I'm going to add our veggies. It's really good with broccoli. It's good with greens. Kale is another favorite. So I'm going to work that in there. I should use a bigger bowl, but I didn't, so here we are. All right, like I said, I made a little extra dressing so that it would coat the veggies as well. And then I do have some leftovers from last night with the crispy chickpeas. So she's gonna get those chickpeas for protein in this. If you don't have tahini or you don't like tahini, you could use peanut butter for this if, uh, or sunflower butter. I've never used like almond butter. I imagine it would be all right, but um, I will say with the tahini though, you're getting a lot of good like iron and minerals, which is why I always go for that. Anyway, you can top this with sesame seeds. Um, it's a pretty similar recipe to what, how I make my sesame noodles, um, almost exactly. But I thought I would kind of show you guys how I assemble it. And then I will get this um, crispy chick chickpea recipe up to you also. Thank you.